My name is Michael Jones, and today I'll be teaching anyone that wants to see how to learn to crack a whip. So the first one you'll want to learn is a simple one where you just bring your arm up and the whip about hits the ground, or it, it can hit the ground if you want. And you get your arm in like this position and really you just bring it down and it should carry underneath and crack. The next one you'll want to learn is the cattleman's, but just going the other way. Um, and what you'll want to do for that is start with your arm here and you can obviously straighten it out. Bring it to where it about hits the ground again and bring it back like that and you can learn to do them in a line once you've perfected both of those the next things you'll want to learn are one that are a lot like scarier to do i'd say which would be overhead cracks which you bring your arm at this angle so like at like a 45 degree angle like this and then you get it above your head so that where it's about in a loop like this and you bring it back and it'll uh, crack like over here and when you're bringing your arm down it should be the same as you go up so you go up like this, and you bring it down. And it's the same as with the cattleman's, the reverse. So instead of bringing it to your left, if you're right-handed, and to your right, if you're left-handed, um, you bring it to your right, if you're right-handed, your left if you're left handed. It's just the reverse. And when it gets to about, when this part gets to about here, you bring it back and it should fall in a line and crack. And it's this one's more in the wrist, whereas that one is more in the arms. And once you've get in, or gotten cracks on both, you can learn a figure eight pattern, but this is better. And the things that I'm even still learning are these flicks, which which you, you can hear. I'm not really getting them too much. Um, which basically you'll bring your arm forward. Once your arm gets to your end, like the end, you'll flick your wrist. So, um, like I said, I'm not a very good example for this, for the flicks, because I'm not, I haven't perfected them yet. And then the overhead will do the same thing. Start with the knee, bring it, like, basically push it forward, and bring it back. That one I can't get out. But, like I said before, you'll want to, it takes time, you'll want to perfect the forward crack. And if you just, like, you don't want to go out at all, you'll just want to go, like, when you're learning, you just go straight up, straight down. Same for the reverse one. You can even, like, aim towards it. But you go this way and straight that way. And it's like anything you're doing with the whip, you pretty much want to get a loop pattern like this. And um, once you get that, that down, you can watch people that are much better than, at the whip than me. Like Adam Winrich. 
they'll have a better tutorial. I forgot to say this um, during the original take, but um, when you're learning, you can see I'm wearing shorts, no hat, and no uh, sleeves. But when you're learning, or even I should be, a discretion for you should absolutely wear pants, long sleeves, or and like a hat or something, and eye protection. Because this thing doesn't feel good exactly when you get hit by it. And I've hit myself many times, but like you should not be doing what I'm doing right now where, when I'm not wearing anything for, on my arms or legs or anything on my head. Like, but I've got glasses, so I'm fine with like, my eyes. But it could hurt if I get hit, like, in the head. And I, I still hit myself, like, all the time. So just make sure to wear long pants if you're learning or if you're, like, even professionals, like, someone like Adam Winrich. He wears long pants. He wears a hat. Like, everything. Just basically, don't wear nothing. Wear protection.